Hello, good morning friends. Welcome to my channel Prodbug and it's all about testing automation and learning new things, right? So today is a very lovely weather. So I decided to come up with a uh, extension to my previous channel uh, topics uh, for the f uh, automation framework. So I decided to add a post uh, request in my automation framework. So just to give you a brief idea, uh, what I'm going to talk is this is my previous uh, uh, chapter which uh, where I have covered the complete automation framework for API and I have given a git link also to you and so that is uh, in that I have covered only the get request right but today I will show you how the post request can also be automated with the same uh, framework so this is uh, all about that for uh, today topic okay so if you don't know so this is the channel uh, this is that uh, series which I'm talking about this is an extension to this particular series where I have covered all the automation topic all the API rest assured basically rest assured all the chapter starting from one till the end all the rest assured topic and later these two chapters uh, containing the framework level details so before uh, continuing this particular session I will highly uh, recommend you to at least go through these two topic if you are familiar with the rest assured it's a good thing so you can directly jump to the part coding part one and coding part two and if you are not familiar with the rest assured so then I in that case I will recommend you to go through the uh, start uh, go through from the chapter one till the end okay so this is about the background so uh, why I'm making this particular uh, uh, chapter see uh, normally uh, I get a lot of comments from you guys that uh, uh, you have do, you don't have any practical knowledge of the API testing okay you don't have worked till in, in any of the uh, API project in your company right so so I can understand your point because uh, till the time I have not worked in the API so things are a little blurred right so we do understand the topic but yeah I agree that we need some kind of experience a real real project experience that actually change a lot of things okay so uh, so that's why so uh, earlier I have not uh, added any uh, uh, related to any post uh, related to uh, video because I don't have any uh, real time uh, post request freely available uh, generally we don't have uh, generally we do get uh, get request online but we don't get easily post request right so right now I have a post request uh, today so I will show you step by step how you can use the same framework to add a new brand new uh, post request okay so this is uh, guys this is my framework API test framework uh, I will share you the git link again uh, okay, this is the get link if you don't have you can clone it and you can uh, try to use if you have any doubt Just let me know Okay, so this framework uh, this is a generic framework you can use in any of the API uh, uh, Project, okay, so uh, uh, I will just give you a brief idea to, okay just to summarize everything because uh, to go into the detail please go to the previous two chapters on the framework where i have deeply explained each and everything so this is a frame uh, a layered structure framework where business all the business logic will come here all the data related things will come here okay our pojos will come here and here will our test cases so everything will be layered and uh, each and every layer is doing uh, their own work okay so we are not going to mix the test case with the data whatever okay so uh, you have to uh, you have to keep in mind your uh, clean coding concepts in mind while creating any framework okay so guys so I will quickly show you what I, we are going to automate today see this is a very simple endpoint okay uh, where you are going to hit uh, this particular API okay so guys I'm going to be teach very simple if even if you don't have any uh, real-time experience with the API just I will try to cover each and every small things okay so this is a particular uh, uh, any 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 endpoint okay and here what you need to do we have some headers right in, in uh, any uh, endpoint see basically there are two three things you have some headers you there is some body and you hit this particular so any endpoint and you get some response some headers uh, some headers some cookies and some bodies and you have to verify whatever uh, you are getting in the this is a standard practice in any endpoint okay so guys what 
what we are doing here we are sending one username okay so this things your developer will give you so don't worry from where you will get all these things so your developer gonna give you each and everything uh, all these keys these are predefined thing so i have added some value here and uh, this is the body again given by the developers the structure everything will be given to you so don't worry about that so you are sending some device code some device id to this uh, particular endpoint and on hitting this you will get some authentication token so this is the post request simple very very clean and simple api so you change the value so your uh, this authentication token will be different every time okay it will keep on changing every time and this contains some information if you go to the web uh, web and uh, using this base64 i have copied one of the token and if you decode it using the base64 so see there are some expiry to this token so it can be 30 minutes one hour two hours one year anything so this is the information hidden inside this token our device id whatever we have given in the request header this will be exactly come here in the response username which is you have given and your customer id whatever so see you have given all these things here in the header and you are verifying by decoding this particular so this is your test case basically whatever you are sending here it should be here and some more information some other information will be there okay so this is the endpoint we are gonna automate today fine so let's go step by step okay so let's go to the business layer okay so see this is a new class i added this this particular uh, earlier i have uh, added only these and these two are related to the guest get get request and this one is for post okay guys so let me open this particular class see to hit to hit this particular post request what do you need you need three things right we have given device code in the body we have given username in the header and we have given xcus name in the header right the only only we need only three things right so business logic will contains whatever is the input okay so this method these are the three input things and let's see what we are going to do with the uh, with them see uh using the property file we are reading the base url it's a local host and using this uh, get properties data we are going to uh, fetch uh, this particular endpoint okay i will show you let me uh, show you this first so it will be good for you uh properties see i am going to fetch home url this is the local host 8080 i am going to fetch auth token api which is this particular endpoint so by uh combining them uh, our endpoint will be ready right so these uh, these two things i'm talking to you so uh in these strings we have to the so i have uh, concatenate concatenate them and here is the uh, url so this will be the url which going to be hit right this much is clear right okay now see uh we need to make a request you know rest assured right we need to make a request our request contain two two things header header contains these three things and body this is another thing okay so there are two part in the uh, request header so uh, let's open this class so you need to create a pojo first of all okay and in that pojo i have given only a body okay we don't need to give headers here i will tell you so in the body like see this is the body we have only one parameter here only one string so we have diff, uh, added here and make sure that spelling is exactly same small d capital i it should be a small d and capital i here okay make sure that these things are matching okay okay so this is the pojo we have created okay so i will show you where is that see com dot pojos dot request so this is the request class this is a request pojo uh containing only device id and this is a response pojo which is containing only authentication token yeah you know that in the in the response we have only one variable right only one parameter which is coming if there are 10 parameters you have to create 10 parameters here so exactly you are matching uh, uh, making a pojo with the exact match of your response okay this is clear so this is a request this is a response these two pojos you have to create one pojo i have added here com pojos this is the response 
I have added a response word here. This is a response and this is a request. What is this? See, we have only defined one uh, parameter here and these are the getter and setters and this is a two string. Okay, so you can ignore these things and see the poja is uh, only one parameter, right? Okay, similarly, the uh, request one we have only one property file, uh, one parameter here, and uh, getter setters and the two string. That's it. Okay, very easy, right? Till now, you are with me, I hope. Okay, uh, let's go next. So, let's go again to the business logic. Okay, so what I have created an object of this request and uh, with this object i have called the setter set device id and device id i am setting here whatever the device id i am uh, getting from the test case it will be set here right this point is clear okay now i need to create a request spec builder okay so in the re request spec builder you know that if you have done the rest assured that we need to build a request so see here uh, we are adding the headers there are three headers you know that we, uh, we are adding the username we are adding the we are adding customer id cus and the content type is json and from this method these two will be coming from this method attributes here okay so these things and see set body this is the body we know that this call is having very simple body so we have set body and this is the pojo object okay so this is our uh, request spec builder has been created successfully okay so here we have built it okay so this point is clear right now we have to hit the post request and we have to fetch the response so given dot spec request spec we are sending the this complete set to the post request and this is a url this is a url right and then we are extracting the response as as we are see now I have converted this response otherwise it would have been a response right you could have used this class also response okay that will be a plain response so better what I have done rather than using a response plain response I have converted into a pojo so this is the pojo which I have shown you I will show you again this is the pojo so all the response will be mapped to this particular class fine so and I'm returning this response pojo object from this method. Okay, so this is a pure business method. I have not done any hard coding here. Make sure you are not doing any hard coding in your business method. This is the most important thing. Okay, so so that nothing will be changed here, right? In future, if anything is changing, if, if business logic is changing, definitely you have to change this method. But uh, on a normal thing, on normal changes, these business classes will not change much okay so this is our business layer okay let's see further uh, these are the yaml okay these i will explain you later about this class and let's quickly go to the test case so this is our test case layer com dot test case let's go to the test case okay let me tell you first about this test case so what i'm doing here uh, from the business logic that business logic class I am hitting that particular method which I just showed you and I'm sending some three values to this There's are some username xcurs and the device code d123 okay these three things I am sending to that and in response you know that what we will get we will get auth token response you know what is this class I am talking about this particular class which is mapped to the response okay so where is our test class okay so i got the object and from the object i call the getter getter of that class and here is a string auth token and i have printed it okay so the token will be printed here okay so i will run this test case at the end and let's talk about the next thing so see but here what wrong i have done can you figure out nothing much wrong but see here we have added the test data inside our test case right so but if you talk about the clean code so your test data should be separate from your test class because see uh, test data can be changed uh, from time to time or you can add some more or whatever right so it should not be depending upon test case because you have to again and again update your test cases right so the best practice is let's fetch out this test data from this test class okay so for that you need to use the data provider which i have already explained to you how this uh, class is working in uh, this particular framework and this is the data provider name 
this is the common test data provider for all the classes so you don't have to write separate data provider generally i saw that people are writing different different data provider for every different class right so you don't need to do that we have handled in our framework uh, using an array okay you can go to the chapter one i think and that i have explained that okay so uh, and where is the test data okay so see i have created a, this particular class to handle test data for this particular uh, method okay so see what we need in this particular test case we need three parameter right we need device id we need username and we need xcus okay so just create a class and define these three uh, string here and just getter and setter that's it okay and extend uh, this is our base test data class uh, this will be the base class for all the test data classes okay so if you have 10 classes there will be 10 different classes for every class okay but there will be a common placeholder called test data this will be the parent kind of thing for all the test data okay so this is clear now uh, let's uh, go to uh, yaml see this is the yaml which contain the test data okay this is a yaml file i have created which contains all the test data so you in in future if you want to add or uh, let's say if you need to add two rows three rows any number of rows and so you can just change here and you don't need to change anywhere and you can just run it okay this is the beauty of using all this layered kind of framework right so see what is this this is the test case name okay so test auth token generation see camel casing test auth token generation let's go to the test class so what this yaml will do it will go here and find where is that test case okay here is that test name right this is old this is the test auth token generation okay so uh, yaml will read okay this is that uh, test method name right now go to the yaml okay and this is that class pojo class i have already told you yaml test data for auth this one right where is that see this one yaml test data for auth token api this is the same class which i am i just told you this is a test data okay and same class name we have used in the test case see here okay so you got it so this class contains three parameter you know right three parameters and uh, same uh, class and the test so th there is a combination of this class and this test method which we have used in the yaml so this is the combination of uh, under the test case this is the class and see these are the three uh, strings which we have defined in this particular class so here we are giving some values d triple five will smith and this is a test category smoke okay so you can define uh, which uh, test case belong to which uh, category you can specify like this uh, regression smoke etc etc you can modify according to your needs okay so now let's go to the test case again so what i'm doing here uh, see here uh, that complete test data will come here and from the code is exactly same just i replaced only this particular part uh, api test data uh, this object dot get device id that get username these getters i am calling from this particular class this particular class i am calling the getters and here again the same response will be built and again i am fetching a simple uh, authentication token uh, from the response and i again i am printing it and later on you can just verify whatever i showed you right uh, whether uh, the same username is present there or all this thing can be uh, verified later on okay so but you understand the difference between these two test cases they are exactly same just i have separated the test data i have fetched uh, test data and put in the uh, and handling from the data layer okay so this is what i have done in second test case okay let me run uh, both the test cases okay so you can see that generated auth token generated auth token and uh, auth token has been generated and printed here right and this is the endpoint which we have hit in both the cases right right guys so and here is the output so uh, 
hope you able to understand what i told you means how uh, we can handle a post request in this framework earlier i have given you example of only get request because at that time i have those uh, freely available api but now uh, so i thought let's add a post request also because generally we have get and post so people are not very much comfortable with the post request so that's why i thought let's bring this to you so i hope guys you enjoyed this particular session and just try to down clone this project and play play around with this and just let me know share your feedback or whatever right so if you have any doubt please put your th uh, questions in the comment section and hope guys everything is going good on your part i know that it's a very very bad situation going on people are going and covid is on the top of everyone and but i hope that vaccination will work and i hope the complete world will get vaccinated soon and hope this pandemic will be finished in 2021 and uh, we can just hope next year will be happy and good for everyone and everything will be back to normal life so guys i know motivation level is all time low for all of us including me so but uh, this is time you are uh, indoor and stay indoor and just you have some time with you so just invest on yourself learn something new and share something new with uh, your colleagues and just try to be happy and try to share the happiness with this i am finishing this particular topic i hope i will come up with a new topic soon thank you guys have a good day bye bye